Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to get all 10 cars within a single day for the exotic exports list. Now I know a lot of you are finding it difficult to actually find all 10 car spawns and all of them within a single day can be pretty challenging. So here's a glitch that you can use but you'll need a friend to do this and it's going to take you about 30 minutes. Another prerequisite that you need to have is that between yourself and your friend you will need to own all the 10 cars listed here. So what we are essentially going to do is to trick the game into believing that the car that you are driving is actually part of the exotic exports list. What you will also need in between yourself and your friend is a cargo bob that can be called with the Pegasus service. So if you've got all that ready, let's jump right into how we're going to do this. So the location that we're going to do this will be at the docks because right behind us is the submission point for the exotic export list. So the person who will be helping you will be piloting the cargo bob while you will be in one of the cars. One thing you might want to note is that whenever you get into the car, you do not wish to exit the car under any circumstances until it has been submitted. And I'll show you how to do that. First, bring up your phone, call your mechanic, and get him to call in your first car. So the first car I am going to call will be the Ocelot Swinger. It doesn't really matter uh, which garage it is stored, just bring it out to you. So when the car spawns, just go grab the car and to make it easier for your friend, just drive it to where your friend is with the cargo bob. So once you are there, your friend can use the cargo bob and hook up your vehicle. Depending on how good his or her skill is, it may take quite some time to pick up the vehicle. And you can feel free to help by maneuvering your car here and there just so that the hook grabs onto it. So now that you are picked up by the cargo bob, what your friend will have to do is to actually dip you into water and that would destroy your vehicle. Just tell your friend to do this gently because sometimes the cargo bob tends to go underneath and if it gets hit by water, the cargo bob will also be destroyed. So as you can see here, once your car is destroyed while you are still in it, a message appears on the top left that tells you that this is a car that is in the exotic exports list and that you should go to the docks to submit this for cash and RP. Now this can only happen when your car is picked up by a cargo bob. If you actually drive the car into water or if you get someone else to destroy the car while you're in it, the game will automatically kick you out and you cannot bring it to the submission point. So your friend will have to fly the cargo bob over the submission area and drop you there so that you can actually do the submission. Now if it happens that your friend drops you a little bit off, what your friend can do is to call out a vehicle and use it to push your car into the submission point. Or he can simply use the cargo bob and pick you up again because that works even though your vehicle is destroyed and then drop you further into the submission point so that you actually get it. Before you do the next vehicle, I would recommend that you call Morse Mutual and clear the area of the destroyed car. It'll make it easier for your friend who's flying the cargo bob simply because the area is very very small and he'll need all the room he can get to drop you off nicely. So I'm going to speed up the next two submissions because it's simply the same thing but I just wanted to show you that it actually works for all vehicles in the car list. Now another thing to look out for is make sure that the car list that you're attempting to complete does not include vehicles that normally cannot be picked up by a cargo bob. For example, the Dinka Blister Kanjo is actually classified as a product or goods vehicle simply because it appears on the map where you actually return drugs in the vehicle to someone else. So just be mindful of that because vehicles like that, the cargo bob will not be able to pick it up no matter what. So the time taken to actually complete the entire car list is very much dependent on how fast uh, your friend can actually fly the cargo bob, pick you up, drop you in the water, and then put you at the submission point. I'm personally encountering some time between 25 to about 45 minutes, and that is a much, much shorter time than you having to find all 10 car spawns on the map. I've had feedback from people who say that it was literally impossible because the cars just don't spawn fast enough. And I've seen other people do this on video, so I decided to try it out and well, it works perfectly. So in short, I'm getting you to waste 45 minutes of your time instead of wasting several hours or even an entire day 
trying to locate car spawns which may or may not happen. So I'm just going to show you what happens when I submit all the cars. And here it is, you get the Pro Car Exporter Award, which simply means you actually did all 10 cars in one day. And this is one of the awards that uh, with the new DLC has been dropped on us, along with many other awards and achievements. Let me just open up the pause menu and show you where the award is. So it's under Stats, Awards, Los Santos Tuners, and it is this award right here, Pro Car Exporter. So I want to show you that this is achievable as well. I'm just going to port back to my auto shop and show you the exact same vehicle list that I showed you at the beginning of the video so that you can see that all the cars in the list are crossed out. And with that, do drop a like and subscribe if you like the video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next one.